Hello and welcome to another episode of Stroke Crafts. Today we will discuss about artery of Fugger, one of the most famous named arteries. Artery of Fugger was described in 1872 by a German pediatrician, Dr. Otto Fugger. He was very much interested in studying about cerebral circulation. and he described a small artery running alongside the anterior cerebral artery a1 segment which he found in about 30 cadaveric specimens and he named it medial striated artery as we know there are two types of lenticular striated groups one is a medial group and another one is a lateral group the medial group is arising from the aca and the lateral group is arising from the nc the recurrent artery of hubner is simply the most medial of the lenticular striated artery and it is usually the largest among the medial lenticular striated group as we can see in this figure this is a large artery arising from the aca and it is the most medial one what is its blood supply it supplies deep structures mainly the corpus striatum the globus pallidus and the anterior crest of internal capsule it gives rise to many branches and majority of these branches are perforated vessels passing through the anterior perforated substance so what is so much special about this recurrent artery of you In fact, all lenticular strides are created equal, and Huebner is not more equal than others. There is a delicate balance between all the lenticular striated arteries, and there can be dominance of any of the group. It could be lateral dominant, it could be medial dominant. So, defining the classic territory of Huebner is an exercise in futility. There is a large territorial variation. it is usually very easy to find easily identifiable in surgical procedures and endovascular procedures so the implications to preserve it are great most often many of the hubner arteries the large ones are mistaken for cases of nca duplication as i have already told you usually it is the largest among the medial lenticular striate group but it could even be small if other medial perforators are well developed so why is the name recurrent artery of fugner as you can see in this figure this is ac a1 segment a2 segment and anterior communicative artery The recurrent artery of Huebner is arising from A1, uh, AC, A cop complex, or A2, and usually runs backwards along the course of the A1 segment. Usually, in coronal cerebral angiogram, it looks like a small artery running alongside and above a much bigger A1 segment. Since it's following the course of A1 segment, it is running backwards. it is known as recurrent artery of hubner can it be demonstrated in an mr angiogram yes it can be in a three tesla mr angiogram if you find a small vessel that is running alongside the a1 segment then it is the recurrent artery of hubner as we can see in this dsa angiogram there is a small vessel marked by the red arrows which is running along the a1 segment this is the recurrent artery of hubner usually if you take a same side ica injection all the vessels they look like a cluster so recurrent artery of hubner is well demonstrated in a contralateral ica injection as you can see this is a left ica shoot 
and you can see a recurrent artery of fumar on the right side very best what are the clinical features of humor infarct as i have already told you there is a spectrum of variation in its territory and its supply and the number of branches it has of course the classical one is the facio brachial paresis there will be a moderate paresis of the upper extremity and a mild paresis of the contralateral face there could be dysfunction of the tongue and palate and if it is a dominant hemisphere it could even result in an expressive face there could be emotional symptoms and motivational symptoms bilateral hubner territory in fact can result in a kinetic mutism so as we know the supply this is a usual area where you get an hubner territory in fact involving the head of the caudate the globus pallidus and the anterior limb of internal capsule so what are the key learning points hubner's artery is nothing special it's simply the largest of the medial ventricular stripes classical hubner territory is rare there are many variations in its number of blood supply but the commonest pattern is a facial brachial paresis it is very important in aneurysm clipping surgeries because of the possible damage thank you for listening please leave your comments in the comment sections below